everyone. I hope you're all having a lovely day. So, are you a Vignon user who uh, wants to set up like 20 cameras in your scene, but when you go up to general settings and you click on the, the freaking, you go here and like click on these little cameras right here, um, like you set up the position for each of these camera slots here, but then you realize when you click on the cameras, they ain't transitioning. What the frick is happening? Why isn't it acting like VC face? Well, first of all, I don't know the reason why it doesn't do that. Uh, that's a complete mystery to me. But let me tell you, there is a way of getting these freaking camera things to work. And I'll show you how to exactly have it done properly. And I'm sorry for the zooming on the face. I really just like zooming in on my face. But anyways, regardless of that, what you gonna do? First and foremost, let's say, uh, first and foremost, make sure you set your default camera up. So, probably by default, Vignon will have it where it's on your back and you see your little hairs and stuff, but you gotta make sure it's in the front, that's your default camera. You want it kind of like, you know how, you know, it's in the front, you see your freaking character, unless you want to have it where by default, you're freaking upside down and stuff, then by all means, you can set it where the default freaking, uh, camera, just click on set position, the default will be this. Whatever you want, just set the default camera. That's step number one. Step number two. What you're going to do is you're going to go to cam one. You're going to set it to however you want. For instance, for my case, I have it where my character's at the bottom right corner. Um, basically like this, basically. So there's that. Um, and once you click on set position, what you're going to do, um, what you're going to basically do after you, uh, select the camera and click on set position, basically, what you're going to then do is you're going to go into the node graph. You're going to add a new graph, which I have my camera graph right here showing you. But you're going to click on new graph just like this, and boom, you got a new setup here. But for my case, um, I'll show you what we're going to do uh, in order to set up the camera stuff. You're going to click on hotkey, and then it's under uh, callback nodes and then other callbacks. There's a hotkey right here, the second button right there. You click on that. Then you're going to go into action nodes, and you're going to scroll all the way down until you find the camera, basically. You're going to click on this camera. It's under MMD motion. So find camera, and then what you're going to do is you're going to connect these little points right here, um, as so. And then you're going to add a hotkey, which mine will be the number one on my keyboard, but it could be your numpad or whatever the heck else. Then what you're going to do is you're going to set this as cam one, um, for instance. You can also set it to any other camera, like you could do the same thing. You can go to cam two, set position, and boom, chakalaka, boom. Um, I can also have it just however you want. It's just, it depends on you, how many cameras you want, how you want to position such. And then you can also set up the transition. You can have it where, uh, the camera zoomed into your face, uh, very instantly or slowly, which I wish I did that, but I didn't do that, but I'll do that next time. But either way, you can have it where it's set to 0 0.5 or 0 or 1, depends on... Uh, how you want, but remember it's in milliseconds, so depending on how much time you want, let's say you're counting in seconds, you better make sure to convert milliseconds to seconds or seconds to milliseconds. So please remember to do that, and yes, you can Google how to convert time, that's very easy. And besides that though, pretty much all you have to do is press on number one, and it changes to the camera basically. You didn't see that, uh, I'll do it again, so um, for my case, like here, like I can move my myself like over here and then I press one boom I'm like right here oh my god and there you go see there you go the hot keys working Ooh. so yeah that is pretty much how you set up cameras basically um, I can also even change my camera as well let's say um, it doesn't have to be camera one it could be camera two and then boom I'm on the other side of the screen oh my god I'm on the other side of the screen oh my god <laughs> But pretty much though, that is how you actually set up cameras inside of Vignon. You have to actually set up a hotkey for it because this button thing ain't gonna work like VC face. I don't know why, I don't have an answer for that, but I'm showing you how to do I already showed you how to do it. It's literally this. And here is my camera nodes in case you want to copy them, I guess. Um, but pretty much there's mine, but tailored to how you personally want it basically. Um, so yeah, I hope that answers the question on how to set up cameras inside of Vignon. If you have any other questions regarding Vignon, please let me know because I know that there are a bit of a lack of tutorials on Vignon uh, due to, you know, like, you know, Vignon still being in the works and documentation still being in the works. So if you want a specific tor tutorial done with Vignon, then please let me know and I will do my very best to make the tutorial happen. But that's all I have to say. Hey, 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 hey,